Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Ibrahim Boy as usual. So today we will begin to present our series, short, short things about quantum theory. And we are going to begin with electromagnetic radiation. It's not surprising that someone who wants to teach quantum mechanics is starting with electromagnetic radiation because the entirety of quantum mechanics itself is the interaction between radiation and matter or matter particles at some <coughs> at the atomic level sub atomic level and molecular level not uh, we have learned a lot of introduction so what i would only say more is that for the benefit of our students who are in schools, we will make it in a bit intermediary uh, language so that it won't be, we will explain it high for someone who has no background in it to, to get the message and, it will, and the way it will also help our students in school. So first of all, this electromagnetic is an adjective as for waves or radiation. Electromagnetic waves are sometimes referred to as electromagnetic radiation. This elect uh, electromagnetic is a portmanteau for electricity, el electricity, electricity and magnetism electricity and magnetism from the beginning things may appear as if they are two different entities while of course they are one because both are due to the presence of electric charges so which when we put this one together like the way sociology and political are put together as socio-political sociological and political are put as socio-political so electric an electric electric field together with magnetic field become electromagnetic wave or fields so let us see what electric, electric field is what is the electric part of it is electricity exists in two forms we have current electricity where the charges are in motion and we have static electricity <coughs> where the charges are not what moving so when you put, uh, and when charge in static electricity what we are in interested in is field There is a field, if you put a charged particle here, it will set an electric field about it. This field is a vector field and field is any kind, any region in space 
that is under the influence of forces applied by some physical agencies like this region in the vicinity of this chart is the electric field which is represented by E. It does work only on electric charges. Then we have the gravitational field which is not our concern here. We also have a nuclear strong field which is also not of uh, much concern to us but we are talking of now magnetic field if you have a bar magnet like this <clears throat> if you have a bar magnet like this then uh, you have maybe the north pole here the south pole here there are lines of course that originate from the south pole and end in the north pole so here the region where these lines occupy in the vicinity of this magnet <coughs> is known as magnetic field so Electric, electric field can be of two types because there are two types of charges. Positive charges, which I give an example like this, where the field is directed outside the charge. And we have negative charges like this. Okay, sorry. Negative charges where the field is directed inward but there is a field anyway so if these two together were to be brought in the vicinity of each other this would join this and it will sink into this this would join this and sink here this would join this and sink here so we call <coughs> mm, uh, positive charges uh, let us put an example here here is negative here is po positive so the field lines move this way just like from the north pole to the south pole of the of a magnet so here there is an electric field the potential is higher here that is the field is stronger here and weaker at the negative charge so <coughs> how does magnetism come about magnetism <coughs> is due to the presence of electric charges in motion whenever electric charges move they produce ma magnetic moment i mean <clears throat> they produce magnetic field for instance if you have an atom of hydrogen with this electron orbiting like this yeah the electron will be producing magnetic field in a, a direction perpendicular to that of its motion and if the ele <coughs> there is also what is called spin of the electron spin of the electron so mostly uh Magnetism in magnetic uh, materials is, is due to the spin of the electron in that in the atoms of that material. So, if a material is not magnetized, for instance, <coughs> you'll find some of them directed this way, 
some directed this way, some directed, they are, they do not have, so the spin of this cancel this, the spin of this cancel this, and the material becomes neutral. But when you apply something like electric current or other means of magnification, of, of magnetization, you have, you align them. If you get them aligned, Here, I'm talking about maybe these are electrons spinning. The spin of electron is an intrinsic property of the electron. <clears throat> of the electron. So, uh, it is the intrinsic property of the electron. And that intrinsic property is just like the electron. It is wrong to assume that... The electron is rotating about its own axis like the earth rotates about its own axis because the electron is considered to be a point particle without radius. <coughs> so it spins, but, but yet it has an intrinsic <coughs> rotation, an in, intrinsic spin. So that intrinsic rotation is what brings about magnetic moments. So if you align them like this, so, so that according to their spins, the magnetic moments produced give a spatial pattern. So you have a magnet. So the area around a magnet where we do such lines, where we drew lines like this, it is called magnetic field. <clears throat> so, and it is represented by capital B. So, <clears throat> electromagnetic waves is a variation of electric and magnetic uh, fields according to Faraday's law that when a magnetic field changes it produces an electric field and when an electric field also changes, it produces a magnetic field. These are the concepts that uh, James Clark Maxwell used in uh, driving his four equations from which he calculated magnetic waves. The variation of what? The variation of electric field T with respect to the variation of electric field V. So they continue in traveling in space as, <coughs> uh, as uh, waves, disturbances. This one changing into the other and uh, this one changes into the other. So it travels like as B decays, as B decays, a grow, uh, e grows in a, in a perpendicular direction and as E grows, I mean decays, B grows in the other direction because if E is decaying, it's like it is moving, it is changing, so it is producing B and as B is decaying, it's like it is moving it is, so it is changing, so you have uh, E being produced. So uh, next we will come and make a presentation uh, and continue with from where we stopped and talk about electromagnetic waves and demonstrate how they are magnetic and electric field varying in space. Thank you.